All right, everybody, on the episode tonight, we are talking about the Waldo moment. Oh, yeah. That's season two, episode three of Black Mirror. I'm Jeremy Miller. Michael Harness. Cassidy Doherty. And this is Flicks and Six. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are talking about the Waldo moment, mm -hmm. okay, the episode of Black Mirror, starring a couple of guys, one of them plays a blue bear. Blue hmm. bear. Who's kicking <laughs> it up with their minute take and letter grade? I'll go first. Okay. Okay, Michael. Ready, Mike? Yeah. Three, two, one, Michael. Um, this was my underdog episode for season two, and I... Rightfully so, because it is not the most Black Mirror thing that I've watched. Um, it had its moments, of course. It was like more sad than anything, mm. but not gut wrenching, not suspenseful, not like on the edge of your seat. Um, I'm never not going to like recommend anyone to like not watch Black Mirror, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this definitely, and I know White Christmas is the last episode we have of season two, so mm. this by far is the worst episode in season two. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. C, C plus, mm -hmm. like that's kind of my range right now, mm -hmm. but yeah, nothing spectacular, but again, it's Black Mirror and everyone should watch it. Boom. There we go. Well done, Michael. Yeah. Cash, you want to go next? I will. I sure will. All oh right, gosh. then. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. All right. So like Michael, this was kind of my underdog as well. And surprisingly, I actually did enjoy it a lot more than I watched it the first time. Mm. First and last time I watched it was in 2016. Oh, shit. During the election. So I think it was made me more mad than anything during that time period. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. watching Good it. Point. Um, now I definitely could see a lot more like Black Mirror and it was less of, yes, the gun, gun wrenching, yeah. gut wrenching <laughs> things, but I feel like it really had also like that mirror aspect to it that Black Mirror does such a good job about, you know, like yeah. really turning it back on us, um, you know, where it was to me more like cringy of like, uh, maybe not like fucked up, but more just like. Because yeah. it was on the Saturn, and my time is up. But I give it a solid B. Solid B. Not anything great, but you know what? I I still liked it more than I considered. Boom! Right on the dot. Well done, Cass. All right, Mike, fire me up. All, All right. right, three, two, yeah. one, go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got to agree with everything you guys say. It's definitely the underdog of the the season. Uh, the first time I saw it, I was like, okay. Uh, this time I saw it and I was like, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah there's not much. <laughs> there's not a lot <laughs> yeah. there. I mean, I love the narrative. I love the right. idea that right. it's giving us. Mm -hmm. um, it's very sh short. It's very to the point. Um, the acting is decent, but not memorable. Mm. Um, the Like I said, the narrative is fucking cool. Yeah. I would love to see more uh, narrative on how social media and... Uh, influencer type characters have an influence over like big politics Masses, and shit. Like yeah. I'd love another episode on that. Um, so this it's short, it's to the point, it's underwhelming, but still good. I give it a C plus. Cool. That's my take. Um, so now that we've kind of knocked that out of the way, let's get into the story. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to start, uh, you know, fresh on a story. So who's got uh, something on the story? Ah, uh, I mean, Long story short, it's just a big blue bear that is kind of starts off like a comedy show. Yeah, it's like a satire comedy show yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. like um, mocking or, you know, mocking like politicians and things like that and slowly migrates its way of like, oh, you know, we, we can see how we can influence, you know, people and they throw them into like the election not to win, but to just like mess with the other people's uh, election campaigns and, you know, just get yep. what we call today clout. Yeah, just to get yeah. clout. <laughs> uh, oh man. We were just talking about clout before we went oh live. God. Well done, Cass, on yeah. the clout plug. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I like about it is like, um, you know, it's kind of like if Alec Baldwin, right, like with his Trump uh, impersonation. Knew you were going to yeah. go that route. It's like that, right? But if like, Don or if... Um, Alec Baldwin wasn't like already a celebrity, but he played a character mm -hmm. like a an animated character. 
Um, and I enjoy the narrative because influencers have so much power. It's like cool to explore. Yeah. Um, you know, this episode like took it from the angle of like a, you know, how the main character like is this character, right? He is Waldo. He plays Waldo, but the right. network owns Waldo. Yeah. And his personal life is fucking in shambles. Yeah. He's so um, but Waldo's like climbing to the top, and so that's like a cool dichotomy of you know this the the character that he created is like on this rising trend but he himself as a person is on the decline mm -hmm. well yeah and then That's you neat. see them clash at one yeah. point and yeah. he like has his fucking spaz out moment yeah he spazzed out man yeah i mean uh it's it's really honestly i mean i'm gonna we're we're doing this it's hard to talk about this episode it is because there's no like uh, it's just it it's not it's not very long there's what's get, the runtime on it do you know like, like 40 42 minutes, minutes. Yeah. yeah nothing crazy it's one of the shorter episodes but i mean this guy is just self-sabotaging like his own career basically and i mean honestly my favorite part of this whole episode is the credit scenes which you walked oh, out yeah from so it's like that he's I remember them. Yeah. You know, he's it fast forwards. I don't know how far in the future, but he's like homeless living under this bridge and these police are waking him up and he has Walter, to like, yeah. he has to like grab his bottle and like he goes up to like this futuristic, you know, billboard screen and he's like swiping and it's just Waldo this Waldo that Waldo, worldwide worldwide. Too. It's like different campaigns because they were approached from this guy from Washington, D.C., who was like, look, you guys have something really great on your hands. You just went about it the wrong way. But in the right hands, they could use Waldo to influence, you know, political views in every single country. And they like offer him like this deal in like South America. And this guy just loses it and like can't handle it. And because it's like his character that he created, but sold his ideas to this company, this guy named Jack, who's the just network. the network, you know, and it just it got taken really far and like i think i touched on this when we did our like season reviews where like waldo was running for office as a tv personality mm -hmm. yeah. ring yeah. a bell <laughs> <laughs> ring a bell oh, anybody yeah. you know and yeah. it's like it shows the detriments of how influencing a society and country by a TV personality, by what you've been known for, can do to like where we are. I mean, look yep. at just recently the whole ASAP Rocky yep. debacle yep. in Sweden or something like that. Sweden, yeah. And like, oh, I, I, I love this. Oh, so ASAP Rocky got like thrown in jail in like Sweden. Oh, like yeah. Kanye I, I've West seen and Kim Kardashian free are like ASAP Rocky yeah. like posters and things. People like are that. like tweeting Donald Trump, and he's like tweeting himself on his like actual account, being like. I'm going to do whatever I can to get ASAP Rocky <laughs> out of this jail, blah, blah. And me and Carrie, our friend, friend of the pod, co-workers, responses, I literally re directly responded back to the president of the United States, like, really? There's nothing else you can, like, focus your time on? You, you've yeah. been on Twitter, Mike? I have a Twitter. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of you. This is my takeaway is that Mike <laughs> is on Twitter. Yeah. You, I you literally, one saving. of the reasons that I got my, tw I couldn't get into my old one so I had to make a new one, is to see what Carrie posts. Oh, yeah. Oh Carrie's God. so fierce on she Twitter, She pops dude. off on Twitter, but literally, like, that is the that is a current issue that <laughs> our president of the United States is putting out there, yeah. and it's like, there's literally nothing else you can be taking care of, like, yeah. the entire country, but you're concerned about this rapper <laughs> because social media influencers yep. and artists have the president of the United States basically in their back pocket. They got clout, dude. It the worst sense of clout. Yeah. Yes. It, I it, guess. It's true. You it's know, ridiculous. like at the very end of the episode, they when uh Man, I got okay. the freaking snooty guy, I already forget his name, won the, you know, uh Monroe. Monroe. Monroe, like when the election hey, or whatever. Monroe. Yeah. You did that? That was really good. <laughs> was I do really impressions. Good. Hey, good. Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, we'll let you stick to that one. Uh, oh my my impersonation is never on point. But he literally said, like, 
Waldo hops on. He's like, hey, I'll give blah, blah, blah to throw to huck a shoe or something like that. And people just start throwing their shoes. Yeah, I'll give that's real life quid shit. to someone who will throw a shoe and like five people immediately threw a shoe. Yeah, it's that's like, real shit. And that's oh, yeah. So, that's the power of an well, influencer. Well, think of it with the, oh, what is it called? The Momo Challenge? No, no, no. Oh. I don't even what know the what shit? that is. The Momo Challenge? Yeah, what the shit? Or the White Whale or Blue Whale, whatever the fuck it's called. It's what? like <laughs> this giant challenge that was floating around social media a couple years ago, but it had a resurgence where basically it had these crazy things. Oh. This crazy list is like, don't talk to anyone for 24 hours. Harm yourself. Like, cut, yes. carve something into your hand. Like, causing all like these young, impressionable people to harm themselves and harm others. And quite, I think i'm not going on record here but i'm pretty sure people have like killed themselves because of like the depressive like sure. message that is being sent it's like via a fucked these... up face yeah that thing, thing. it's like yeah, a really I've weird mask yeah, yeah i think it's called the momo challenge or momoa challenge yeah, or something yeah momo momo yeah. area 51 that whole thing yeah but that i'm down for <laughs> that's yeah, like but I'm funny saying, like it, anything can there. just go yeah. like <laughs> viral yeah. you know and it can have such an influence positive or sure. negative yeah you know and i don't think we can ever get rid of the negative aspect to it because it's always going to have both. No, and I think right. like I think we're going to really tap into a lot of this when we get to nosedive. Mm -hmm. um, the social media, yeah, aspect. the social media yeah, shit. But for sure. But like, yeah, I mean, when you think about like the 2016 election, like the, regardless of what side you're on, okay, yeah. we're not a politics show, but like, you can't argue the fact that Cambridge Analytica and the Facebook shit, like, dude. If I had ten million dollars, yeah, right, and I ran ads on Facebook, and I had a team of psychologists that could create messaging and branding that sways people's opinions, and I had ten million dollars, I could absolutely influence a shit ton of people, yeah, to do whatever I wanted through right. those ads, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's some scary shit. And yeah. I yeah. think this episode showed it showed <laughs> two things really well. It showed that. You know, just because you're successful uh, in entertainment doesn't mean that that is everything. Like, yeah. you know, you see like Hollywood celebs and stuff and it's like they got problems, too, man. And like people like us were like, oh, but they're fucking they got 300 mil in the bank. Like, how could they be, they be sad? Yeah. And it's like, well, dude, it still happens. So there's that aspect, which I really enjoy. And then the, the second is like how how truly powerful fictitious characters that aren't on one side or the other they're just funny and likable get the likable vote and then all of a sudden they're in power like fucking not a clue yeah. what they're doing free asap rocky okay Jeez. that's He's really the why the greatest we did this rapper jesus i really want i'm gonna pull up the tweets but ASAP. i mean a point from the show too like this ficti fictitious blue bear almost beat a real politician he was like three thousand votes under yeah, a real he, politician he was the, in the, the show. runner up and when you think it's about crazy. it like on 2016's ballot harambe was there that's that the is gorilla that, oh my god Remember i forgot that? about that yeah fucking harambe was yeah. on the ballot and he got like ten thousand votes or some shit yeah don't quote me on it. i don't know the number but it's a lot you got yeah. a lot it's more than one and that's a problem <laughs> you know it is it is <laughs> but like it's you like said, the between hillary clinton and donald trump like fuck i was tempted yeah. you know what i mean jesus oh my god but that's the you know that's i, th I think that's like really the only message of this episode is like Look at how like dumb we are to actually like buy into that bullshit. And that's like not me on a soapbox. It's like, dude, we all buy into that bullshit all the time. Oh yeah. And it's really well crafted to make us do that. Yeah, yeah. And I think what I noticed more about maybe this episode than I did last time, you know, where I thought I was going into it and I like remember Big Blue Bear makes a lot of jokes, you know, like they should do like a blue penis. <laughs> You know, and it's supposed to, yeah, like it's funny, but also like it was also like annoying to me. Oh, where, for sure. Yeah, you know, where like that's where like. Well, nobody wants so to see much... a big blue dong just no, slapping around on a van. But apparently, those Brits did. Well, Brits are fucking weird. Yeah. They Apologies to our British listeners. We have some. Oh, well. Hi, Britain. Would you uh, like hello. some tea? Hello, Britain. Apologies <laughs> for the blue dick. G give ASAP Rocky his freedom, all caps. We do so much for Sweden, but it doesn't seem to work the other way around. <laughs> Sweden should focus on its real crime problem. Hashtag free Rocky. 
Oh my god. That is a direct quote from our president of the United States. ASAP <laughs> Rocky. And it's... like is ASAP Rocky that relevant these days too? I don't know, you no. guys. He's I heard not a track. At all. Yo, I heard this track last night and it's featuring ASAP Rocky. And you guys know me. I don't fuck with this shit, but I'm like addicted to this shit. No, ASAP Rocky's pretty <laughs> good. I'm like, I will I'm say I like ASAP Rocky. I don't yeah. like the new shit. Like, I was he, listening he's a couple years back. I was too. listening to this track and I'm like, you know what? Like Let's get him free, man. I, I could use some more of this. Oh, my God. My friend had a horse named Asap Rocky. He was That's pretty ridiculous. sweet. But yeah. <sighs> you should get a cat and name it Asap Ro- Rocky. Asap! Not going to happen. Oh. But yeah, there's not like... There's not a lot. <laughs> I think what they did with this episode, too, it was so short that like, yeah, the, the narrative was really cool, but... It was so quick. It wasn't like I was super invested in each points that they were trying to make. Yeah. You got the general idea, but not in depth enough, you know, and not saying that if they lengthened yeah. it, it would have been better. But it, it just was too fast pacing from like trying to get their like arcs and everything going that it was kind of like, okay, now it's over. Oh, I agree. I, mean, I like know what happened, but I, I didn't ever get any sense of feeling besides that's like exactly like what yeah. i was about to being say i didn't a little feel uncomfortable anything. because yeah. me and jeremy were looking at each other like the, the sex scenes that black mirror does are just so brutal. awkward and cringy that was a brutal. good one that oh was that brutal. was funny though because <laughs> they're banging right and like he had just broken up with his girl you know and it had been it Rich. had been months because he's he calling her say, still I love you to her i thought so too but he like he's like they're cuddling right after they bang. Yeah. Right crying. after like the bar bang. And then like he go- he does one of these. <laughs> he goes <sighs> to get and like attention. blows her hair and she's like, um, yes. What's and he's like, um, nothing. And she's like, What's up, dude? You're fucking crying into my ear. <laughs> and he's like <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry. He just feels really good and I'm just kinda in a bad place and this is nice, you know, and she's like Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, and oh my God, I can't with the accent. And it's like so brutal. Can I get un- your number? Yeah, he's and then like, he's like, "Can I have sure. your number?" You know, and it's like, bro, don't fucking cry in her ear, dude. Yeah. Like that listen, man, was that was awkward. Like, I look, hated dude, that. I'm an emotional dude. All right, I will fucking be the first to admit it, man. I am tuned into these emotions, and when I feel them, I feel them. But I'm not gonna cry in some girl's hair. Especially that not you post just sex. met. Especially first night post bar sex. Yeah, first. Pers- Purse. Like, dude, purse, <laughs> first, 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 one night stand. Yeah, Welcome like, club, dude, purse first. You're, you've been together for a while. You're fucked up at work. You got all kinds of shit. Your mom just died. You fucking bang. You feel good for a minute. And then afterwards, His mom died. No, I'm just saying oh. in a hypothetical. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck you know, did I miss that? You shed a tear. It's like, <laughs> OK, that I get. Right. But like with your one night stand, dude, like, come on, bro. There was that moment while they were banging. And I was like, that's totally me because I will. Oh, my f- God. Oh, yeah, I will fuck around with someone like, what'd you say? No, let's well, set the scene though, Mike. <laughs> well, they were like banging and she's on top. She's on top and she's riding him. And I, what did he say? It was like, you're, you're so, amazing. You're, you're amazing. But he like said it like very softly. He's like, and you're cautiously. Amazing. You're amazing. Yeah. And she's like, I'm sorry, what? I, didn't, I don't think that's what she said. I wish she would have said come again, but that would have been a good line. <laughs> but uh, I think she did say I'm sorry what? Yeah, she said did I'm she? sorry what? Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. And that and you were like, that's some shit I'd say. Oh, that I mean, but I but thought I, you were going to say uh, like, oh, you're... But I am that person who will like be mid doing something nasty and like crack a joke. Like, I don't know why. It's just like my defense mm, mechanism. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like what kind of joke? Give me an example. I can't. I got to like, be in the moment. Like cool butthole, bro. <laughs> No, no, but there was something w- just popped in his head. No. What was it, Michael? No, no, no. Well, something did pop up, but it was uh, more, s- more so like after the deed was done. Yeah. And like I was like dating this person and uh, like not like official together, but like we were like seeing each other. And I, I, <laughs> I'm not a fist bumper, but I went in and I was like, good job, bro. And you gave him knuckles? Yeah. Oh, oh, Michael. But it was, a, it was a total joke. Yeah. You know, and did it, he give me knuckles back? Yeah. And he's like, you too, bro. Yeah, but it was like a running on thing, like, good job, hat. Like, good game. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It was just so stupid, but I am that person. Yeah. I will fuck with you while I'm fucking with you. <laughs> you know? And fucking you. Yeah, well, oh, you man. know, it depends Speaking on the Speaking of, I uh, just want to shamelessly plug our upcoming episodes on the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fifty Shades of Thon. Yeah, it's the Fifty Shades of Thon. Um, Fifty Shades of Thon. Yeah. We're going to... accidental like yeah. Accidental <laughs> cast... Um, perceived pun yeah yeah <laughs> we're gonna air that probably uh late august early september okay commentary tracks 
Uh, and it's going to be Fifty Shades of Grey with our very gay uh, co-host, <laughs> Michael <thank> Harness. <laughs> Honey. Uh, because listening or watching Fifty Shades with Michael is just seriously... I watch him more than I watch the actual yeah. movie. Like, you guys, if you're not into commentary tracks, mm-hmm. it's time to get into them because yeah. the shit is going to pop off, dude. The we'll fir- keep you buzzing. Uh, the first... I Well, it's funny because we've never finished the second, and I have a complete third movie, like, organic reactions. Yeah. But like the first one's gonna be like a little like I'll still be like on, but yeah, yeah, it'll be funny. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Give them a lot of caffeine too. Yeah, we're gonna keep you guys posted on that. We'll make sure to put some YouTube shit up too. Yeah, Yeah. I got Um, a clip. Yeah, that'll be super fun. It's really embarrassing of like just the way my face looks. But it's funny. Yeah, we got to find that clip. I have it. Okay, it's, good. it's in my it. phone. Okay, good. We're posting. <laughs> we, never we deleted it. We pull it out every once oh, in yeah. a while. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God, I have a lot of videos, and that one always pops up. Good. I'm like, God, it's fucking yeah. funny. So what do we got on Waldo moment? We got final thoughts you want to kick around? Well, we haven't really even... Well, we got... Characters. Oh, yeah, characters. I mean, him. We've kind of talked about him. and I mean, it's literally him. And... He seems like a loser. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to talk just... about this guy. I feel for him. I do, I do but I don't. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you go, well, it's wait, uh, wait, wait. What the fuck? Fist bump. What is it? Punch buggy or jinx? That, jinx. Yeah, jinx, you, you just jinx. mixed up two classic childhood games, Cass. Cass just punched me in the leg, thinking that was something that you do <laughs> no, when you jinx. It's punch bug is when you see a I'm, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, slug bug. Slug bug. You no, slug you bug. Ohio boy. And then there's Woody. We're both talking about slug bugs. No. Woody and slug bugs. You bug. say punch bug, you know punch backs. Oh, I say slug bug. Yeah. It's a bug. It's Anyways. a beetle. Yeah. Beetle. But Jinx, you owe me a soda or a salt of water. Uh, okay. He's from Ohio. They call it pop. <laughs> I'm Californianized. I say soda. You do? Yeah, I've said did soda for a while. Did you used to say pop? Yeah. He you did, used to get made yeah. fun of. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's true. You call it pop? <laughs> well, did you ever call it soda pop? No, that's a gener. That's like two generations behind me. Okay. Yeah, that's like, like for pop. people that call it chewing gum. Oh. Like my grandpa, you know, R.I.P. He doesn't matter what like soda you're referring to. He calls everything a Coke. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you next. Do you call everything a Coke? No, that that's like my art. My that's grandparents like way and my great grandparents. Like, hey, pick me up some Coke. But they actually wanted like Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper. It yeah. doesn't matter. Everything's a Coke. Yeah. So but in your Coke. mind, they think that you should know what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> so when you come home with a coat they're like no i want a pepsi it's like well fuck you yeah <laughs> say what you mean no Grandpa? yeah that's, that's a whole generational thing yeah world war ii vets aren't good at that yeah. cast ptsd yeah, yeah. coke <laughs> um, <laughs> but the guy <laughs> what's his name again Fucking... jimmy jamie 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 james um he's yeah he's a kind of a loser like he's not that attractive he's I mean, obviously, we got a little bit of his background because Monroe like wanted to dig up dirt on him, I guess. He's like an out of work comedian that was in like a skit uh, troupe. Yeah, yeah. That like went around like I love going to see like improv groups. I think they're really fucking funny when it's because it's all organic. He's lining it's, anyways. Exactly. You know, I love improv. But, you know, and he got this like hit with like Waldo and he's on the show. And I mean, I view Waldo as like a dark Hmm. There was a show that was kind of like that on like Nickelodeon back in the day. Um, you know, like Hey, um, dude. What? Hey, dude. What's Hey, dude? Oh man, you got you're way too young for Hey, dude. Well, Hey, do you, dude. Do you remember? Is it hey, with a horse range. head? I feel like it's with a horse head. Do you remember Face? No. Like on Disney or it was Nickelodeon. Where like that was like the transition between shows was like literally the whole TV would be like giant smiley face that would talk you through. Like those were the commercials for Nickelodeon back in the day. No. Oh yeah, I do. You know, he kind of reminds me of that. Um, do you guys remember figure it out? Yeah. Oh yeah. I love I that love show. I love that show. My, What's her name? The host? The blonde girl. I don't know. Jennifer. No, no. I, know I will who you're never talking guess it. About. Oh my God, dude. I know who you're talking about. Cause she always had the same haircut and she was like, figure she was, she was cool. Out. I love that show. But um, you guys remember Legends of the Hidden Temple? Yeah, of course. I was gonna say. I just say, screamed into this um, microphone. <laughs> what is it? GNC. Oh, what place no. you used to work for? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what well, game network show? Game show network. GSN. Yes. GSN used to be my favorite fucking show. That's a network. Network. I mean, the channel. Summer Sanders. Yes. Ah. Summer Sanders. Oh, Summer. God, I love you, Summer Sanders. She was great. Um, you guys remember Pete and Pete? 
No. I know. No, Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Comedy Central. Pete and Pete was the fucking jam, though, dude. But Pete tell me this, you guys. Guts with Mike O'Malley. Oh, so good. Remember Guts, dude? And they had to c- climb the aggro cag. Uh, yep. Aggro crag. Oh, my God. Yes. And if yep. they get to the top and they hit the fucking button, they win like 10 boxes of nerds or something. Yeah. Shh, the thing explodes yeah, and like smoke cannons oh, go the off. The fucking dude. And they had to like paddle like the kayaks across the yep. pool. Yep. Remember that? And fucking. Uh, that was, I think, Hidden Temple. No. No. Oh, well, it was, it was kind of both. both. They were very yeah. similar. Legends shows. of the Hidden Temple. I don't and think it had I like too much the blue guts. barracudas. Oh, my God. Yeah. Silver I, I had a hard time watching shows where there was slime. I, for some reason, slime, like, really I love freaked that me show. out. Like, on Figured Out, where they get slimed. I love that. There was a show that I always remember like it's like an obstacle course and like it was like families and you had to like find the flag in each little thing and like yep. one was like a giant nose. Yep. Oh, I loved that show. What was that show? I don't know. Um, I can't fuck. remember, but it was a good show. Did you guys I ever see show. the show Lingo? No, no. That was my favorite show. It was like bingo, but slightly different. And it was like word sayings. And I think I just had <laughs> so much fun with it. You're that. such a little dork. <laughs> no. Yeah, they'd have like balls come and like be oh, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Lingo. No. I was thinking Plinko from. Um... I was thinking about Minority Report. Oh, Jesus. You know, Tom, Tom, Tom Cruise, who has to stop from murdering someone because the ball came down the chute. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Colin Farrell comes <laughs> I in. I forgot about that. You never seen it, Cass? No. Nope. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get okay. there. We'll get there. Um, anything to not talk about this episode? I know we're literally <laughs> talking about everything, but <sighs> do we have an unsung? Because I don't. I'm, I I'm over talking about the guy. Thing, and it's so dumb, but it was like Summer Sanders. No, <laughs> Summer Sanders is the boss. I wonder what she looks like these days. Probably, probably aging well. She's probably still got it, dude. She yeah. probably does. I'm gonna look it up. God, um, I would just love to just be a host of a game show. I don't think I would like it. I wouldn't Why? either, dude. I'd get so bored. It would be. What do you mean? It's the same shit every day. I would hate it. I just don't. I think it would lose it, its excitement after a while. I don't know. I feel like I'd be like really happy for all of those people that won. I, feel I like would that do would like. Be super um, exciting. I would do like uh, Price is Right. She still got it. Let me see. Was that a bikini pic? Uh, what? That totally was. I didn't before Google you that. Swiped away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, weird crack smile, but yeah, she still looks okay. Yeah, she literally looks exactly the same, just with a slightly more like wrinkles. Damn, dude. Yeah, she looks good. Yeah, Summer Sanders, dude. Hey, shout out to Summer Sanders, man. If you're listening to Flicks and Six, we'd love to have you on the show. Oh yeah, For sure. I'll tell you what, we could even rig some slime in the studio. Oh my god, you cleaning it up? No, Summer's going to help me. <laughs> That's what we're paying her for. Yeah, and we'll get Amanda Bynes in here. We'll get Keenan oh, and Kel in here. Fuck. I, I yeah. want that one lady. She was like very portly, but... Elizabeth. Like, um, yes. I can never remember. I loved her. She was so funny. She's portly. so what funny. What kind of word is... What, how, it's a polite way of saying... Rounder. Bigger. Portly. <laughs> yeah. Oops. It's all right, it's guys. All right. We're not I'm offensive. Portly. Yeah. It's fine. We still love her. We're talking about how funny she is. She was hilarious. Yeah, she she's was, so What funny. was that... What was the show that they were all on? That like all that, yes, all that, dude. Classic. But it's the SNL for kids. Exactly, SNL for kids. That's exactly and Keenan and Kel were on it, dude. As yep. uh, Seamus and Clamus. Yep. Damn, dude, we're digging we're deep, style. dude. You guys want to hear a funny fucking story about Jeremy Miller? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when I was in <laughs> elementary school, right, I had a friend named Vori Moon. Okay. Vori Moon. Yes. What a I sick feel like name. I've heard this. Yeah, he's dude, and this guy's like killing it in life, man. He's like, anyways. Um, like, I see him on Facebook, and he's, like, seriously one of the funniest motherfuckers I follow on Facebook. Every day, he posts, like, these one-liners that are super funny, like, shareable funny. Anyway, so when we're in elementary school, right, he's, like, pretty much, like, I think the only black kid in our whole school, right? <laughs> and uh, I, I was really good friends with him. We were, like, best friends, you know? We used to watch, like, Alex Mack and shit, you know? Anyways... For Halloween one year, we went as Seamus oh and Clamus. That's pretty fucking funny. Right? So, like, he's black, and I'm not. <laughs> and we still did it, and we saw nothing wrong with it. But, like, thinking back... Did you put blackface on? I didn't. I did oh not do blackface. Oh, my God. But, like, we had the mannerisms down, all the sayings, like, orange soda, fucking... Oh, the whole orange shebang, soda. dude. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, like, God bless my parents. They were never like, hey... uh, 
Maybe this like, is a bad you're, idea. You're not. Yeah. You're like, not. You should think twice about this. Yeah, one. like Jeremy, dude, you're you're white, man. But like, it, <laughs> it was like fucking '94. You right. Know? Like yeah. blackface wasn't goes. like a big deal back then. Yeah, and I didn't do blackface, but still, <laughs> funny story for you, for the young listeners at home. Google Keenan and Kel, and you will see what I dressed up as for Halloween. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Uh, Unsung hero. What I know. I've got? been racking my brain. I got one. Go ahead, Gas. Mine is just. A really funny saying that kind of expedited it all when they're talking about like him maybe like um, being a part of the election so they can more just like be in the vicinity and things like that and be involved in all. And uh, the guy said, whack it on the board or whack it up there. And that was like telling her to like oh, write yeah, it on, on the, the whiteboard. Board. Yeah. And like, I don't <laughs> think fuck? I would have caught on if we didn't have the subtitles, but I was like, what oh. a sick way. You need whack subtitles it up for there. This. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking and Brits. And I thought that was like, oh, <laughs> whack it up there. Yeah. They got a cool way of talking. Yeah. No, I'm going to start saying that. Hmm. Not at work, though. <laughs> no, don't say it at work. <laughs> no, People it's might not know what you mean. Uh, what's the ground date? Whack it up there. Yeah. <laughs> Just whack it up. <laughs> Um, hmm. Unsung, unsung, unsung. Doing the most by doing the least. <sighs> I'm gonna go with my, my first gut instinct is telling me alcohol. But that's exactly what I was gonna are say. Are you serious? That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> my gut. That's where my gut was telling me, yep. like them just getting getting hammered, hammered at dude. The hotel. Because without the alcohol, <laughs> they would not be banging. No, oh, no. She would not have banged them without booze. I'm no. sorry, Jamie, and like his but... whole personal life and professional life wouldn't have collided and wouldn't have been like this even more of a spiral downward for yep. him. Yep. All right, cool. Glad we're on the same page that's mentally exactly about that. Exactly what I was going to say. Cool. I was say fucking, it's going to sound weird. I know that's but why I was alcohol. like, God, I don't even want to say it because I feel like one. we've said it before. Yeah, yeah. But definitely I think it's better booze. than our last one. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I feel like the blue dick was the unsung last. Oh time. yeah, what? it had to have been. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. The, the blue dick. If Gavin was on the reason, show, that's, that's absolutely what it was. He made it some sort of connection that we're all like, oh yeah, at the time, but. <laughs> But <laughs> side note, we're going to try and get oh our buddy God. Gavin to reprise the fourth seat of Cracked Mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, we started the show with Gavin years and years ago. All we talked about was Black Mirror. We're going to try and get him back. Uh, he lives in fucking some near like some Sacramento podunk little town no somewhere a, yeah. like I always Cheyenne want to say oh hi but that's not right yeah and uh we're gonna try and get him down for white christmas that's yes. gonna be our fucking banger guys that's next friday so if you're on the audience and you're listening to this right now just wait go watch white christmas today it's literally one of the best episodes yeah and get get to uh and you get to meet john ham yeah dude uh, uh, yeah i get to see john you get to see John Hamm and the bulge. I was just gonna say, there's not much bulge in Black Mirror, but no. But no, if you I, I'm excited because he's in two two episodes. No, he's no. just in this one. Yep. We just talk oh. about wanting him in we, absolutely every yeah. episode. John Hamm. I would thought make he it. was in. Nope, that's White Christmas. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. say, I can't, I it's always a, forget that it's three different stories in the same episode. Yeah, so it's I a lot going get on. Confused. Yeah. Um, uh, unsung. I mean, we got five. Yeah, we nailed it. Anything? Final thoughts, man. Underwhelming, but fine. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was just kind of good to like use the Waldo moment as a platform just to like podcast. And yeah. And plug our riff on shit, you know? Plug the 50 Shades of Thon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> plug clout. We want clout. Yeah. Oh, we're Jesus. <laughs> shooting for some clout. So if you guys are like happen to be a, a big influencer yeah. and you love Flicks and Six, uh, give us know, a shout out. Let's get some clout going. Yeah. I just learned what that meant today. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> like, <laughs> I think this was at least a good episode where like I was underwhelmed just to get my freaking mind blown away by next week's episode. Yeah, yeah. It's a filler episode. It's, it's a filler, dude. It's yeah. there's nothing special about it. It's not. It's not the most Black Mirror. It's there was no tech. There was no future. I mean, the emoji, the an emoji thing was kind of the tech. Not really. Well, for when it came out, though. When did this air? This 2013, was, I think, 2013, I think. 2013, yeah. I mean, that's not that long ago. But, but the an emoji right. was not a thing yet. Yeah, and I liked because usually right. they'll but have. But still, I totally get it. Yeah, different. Like, yeah. Words are, you know, they mm. actually talked about YouTube, Twitter, and things like that, which yeah. usually they come up like Smithereens. Dip, it's yeah. like their own platform, like Facebook, they but they that. actually talked about this Real was platforms. very 2013, which is crazy with like how many mentions of Twitter yeah. there was. Right. I Twitter, like Twitter's Twitter, Twitter's making a comeback, though. I yeah, feel I think it. so. 
Oh, yeah. Where, like, I'm considering getting it. Yeah, if Michael Harness is on Twitter, it's making a comeback. I, don't, I literally have, I don't have any followers, and I don't want to have any followers. I'm going to follow you right you? now, motherfucker. You what's don't know your, my name. What's your handle? You don't know my I'm Twitter following handle. your shit right now, motherfucker. I'm coming for your <laughs> Twitter, Mike. <laughs> There's, I, I retweet a lot of random shit, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you, you might not want to. That's the whole Mine's reason. Be like rainbows and butterflies, horses Michael and Michael Harness, dino. fucking following. Exact opposite cast. You have four followers. Oh, cool. <laughs> One of them. Oh, it's probably like really oh, wait, I'm Michael already Harness. following you. <laughs> <laughs> How's that possible? That's my picture. Yeah. I Is that your remember. old one? No, that's my new one because that's my Slack. Photo you retweeted too. some flicks and sex. I do do that. I'm so proud of you, Michael. God, we, I've never even looked at my own profile. Has a Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Sick. I'm always tweeting, dude. He actually does tweet a lot. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm out there tweeting yeah, for so us, you, guys. You do know social media. Twitter is for old people like me, though, Cass. Insta people. is your game, dude. It is. Twitter is more written. Yeah. It's all. Yeah, you don't want me writing shit. Yeah, I'm good at writing, but I can't fucking boomerang to save my goddamn life, yeah. dude. <laughs> we'll save that for like another era. Yeah. I'll teach you that. I ride, I ride, ride, all ride. right, you guys. Well, that's our take on Waldo moment. Um, I really, really love all the ratings we've been getting, but we want to crank it up a little bit. So yeah. please go, if you're listening and you like the show, give us a rating, whatever you feel is appropriate. If you're really fucking jazzed, drop a review, okay? We're going to run some contests. I know we've been pl plugging that for a few weeks. We got some prizes in the studio finally. We're just kind of building the infrastructure so that we can give away some free shit. Oh, that's what those are? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, well, yeah. They're cool. I, I wouldn't mind one of those. Yeah, I know you would, dude. I, I know. We got some good shit, all right? Yeah. Um, so we're going to raffle it off to you guys for uh, ratings and uh, reviews and shit like that. We're building the infrastructure. It sounds complicated. Really, it's just I need to do it. Um, yeah. But also, jump over to YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube, guys. We've got like 60-something. I want to at least get 100. Yeah, let's it's a rarity. amp it up. It, sorry. No, you go. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's a rarity that I have found podcasts to do visual and audio. So I think we're pretty unique in that aspect because I always – I like to see – like there's one podcast, This Might Get Weird, with Mamrie Hart and Grace Helbig that I love to listen to, but I love even more. Like I could – they literally – post it on Wednesdays, their podcast. And then by like Friday or Saturday, they put up their audio and I'm watching them talk about everything that I just listened to them talk about like That's three fun. days before. Yeah. So I think it's a good, like, I know you don't get like the full us uh, sitting here talking, but it's still cool to like see our faces and like not just hear our voices. You yeah. Know, and then and see the new studio that we put yeah, together for to you know guys. Yeah. yeah. So watch the evolution. Yeah. Just so yeah. much better. Go watch oh the God. first episode we did <laughs> and then watch the latest that we did right. on, on Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it's, you will see. We've grown a lot in a less lot. than a year. Yeah. yeah. And that's all because of you guys, right? Like our podcast listeners are so supportive we have so many people downloading our shit every day it blows my mind mm -hmm. and we're so excited mm -hmm. to keep bringing you this shit we got 50 shades uh right around the corner we got youtube kicking go like our shit subscribe follow us on instagram at flicks and six that's flicks with an x and the number six okay and if there's some shit you want us to review hit us on the dms slide mm. into the dms right Cass? yes the that's more how that goes. comments that you have the more feedback you know we're just gonna keep growing and keep putting out more right. content so yep and like you guys wanted more. mark back and he's coming back too mark Ooh. mark frederickson is gonna be on the show we are uh recording an episode with mark on wednesday so by the time you guys are listening it'll be a few days from when you're hearing this, that got confusing. <laughs> well, we're recording on Monday right now. We'll record on Wednesday. This goes up on Friday, I assume. Monday. When, Monday. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. When you're listening to this on Friday, check Just it out on Monday. Stay tuned yep. for Monday. Stay yeah. tuned, you guys. It's going to be exciting. That being said, thank you guys so much. We love you so much. Follow our shit. Like our shit. <laughs> DM our shit. Ring the bell, shit. Ring the bell, shit. <laughs> oh my God. I'm Jeremy I gotta Miller. take a shit. Michael Harness. <laughs> Cassidy Duane. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I really don't have to poop. That's the funny part. <laughs>